Cat Stories video. This time we're gonna be, I'm going to be guiding you guys with the practice because I know it could be a little tricky working on new story problem types. So let's read our story problem for today. Miss Mayungvo went to the gym on Monday to lift weights. He did eight sets of sit-ups, nine sets of dumbbells, and 45 push-ups. How much exercising did he do? Let me read it one more time. Mr. Mayungvo went to the gym on Monday to lift weights. He did eight sets of sit-ups, nine sets of dumbbells, and 45 push-ups. That's a lot of exercise, Miss Mayombo. How many exercises did he do? So we know we have three parts and we need to figure out how many exercises did he do all together so we don't know our whole. So eight is a part. Nine is a part and 45 is a part equals how much exercise did he do all together. So I'm going to combine two of my smaller numbers first. So I'm gonna add eight and nine and I can use known facts. I know that eight plus eight from my doubles facts I learned in first grade equals 16 and one more is 17. So eight plus nine is 17, duh. So that's still a part. Plus my other part that I didn't add yet. Equals still our unknown whole. That's how much exercise he did all together. So now I need to count on to figure out how many exercise he did all together. So we have 45, and I'm gonna count on 17 more. How many tens are in 17? One ten, so we got 10, and how many ones? Seven ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 equals Let's find out. So let's count on 45, 55, because this is a 10. Now we got to count our ones, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. So Mr. Mayumbo did 62 exercising at the gym. Let's review. It's really simple for second grade. And I know most of you are gonna be able to get it as we practice more. So we know that there are three different parts in our story problem and we have to find the whole. So we're gonna write out our number sentence with all our parts and label to represent our unknown whole. We're gonna combine two of our smaller amounts first and then add my other part that I did not have yet. I didn't add yet. Then I cues count on to figure out my unknown whole. Here's a story problem you're getting to ready to try on your own using that same count on strategy. Miss Watson had a really big lunch. She had four patties, nine mangoes, and 10 bags of chips. How much food did she eat? Miss Watson was hungry that day. Go ahead and represent and solve. Try your best at home. Remember to add those labels. See you in the next video.